Yes. I'm going to share with you a formula for how to relate the variance of a discrete distribution. Actually, it works for both discrete and continuous distributions, but I'm going to share it with you in the discrete distribution case here. Um, how you can actually compute such a variance by actually looking at means or expectations. This is very much a formula, a theoretical version of the hand calculational formula that you might have seen as an uh, earlier additional math lecture. But let's have a look. The definition of a discrete variance, of a variance of a discrete distribution, you could say variance of I put discrete in parenthesis since the final formula works also for um, continuous distributions. The defining formula, as you were taught, is that it's the expected squared deviance or squared. Um, difference to the mean of the distribution. So, it's the, let me repeat that, it was a bit um, shaky there. It's the expected value of the difference, the square of the difference between observations themselves and the actual mean of the distribution. So it's the expected squared deviation, actually, the expected squared behavior. That's the definition of a variance, actually, in, by abstract means. Now we can use the same trick. We could simply, actually, this is a very generally formulated. I, I just realized this is, works for both uh, discrete and continuous. And if we put it into the continue, the discrete case, actually, that was what I was stated that I wanted to, to do, then the definition of a variance was to take each individual observation. So we sum over all possible. We take individual observations. We subtract the mean from those. We square them, and we multiply by the density. This is uh, showing the summation formula without indices, but still, this is uh, the formula for a discrete variance. If we, again, go to the individual terms of this square of uh, two things, the difference of two numbers, minus 2 mu x, like this, f of x, um, we can go to the individual ones, x squared, f of x. We can say sum of mu squared, f of x, minus 2 mu sum of x, f of x. So this is just uh, multiplying into the parentheses. Um, actually, the first part here becomes, as you can see, this is actually the mean of the square of x. And the second part, let's do it, in, do it in two steps. Mu squared can be taken outside the summation sign. And then the sum of f of x, that's the sum of a density, that's simply 1. So altogether, it's mu squared. And again here, this part becomes simply mu. That's the average, or the mean again. So this is 2 mu squared all together, e of x squared minus mu squared, or differently put, the mean of x squared minus the mean of x squared. This is a general way of sort of trying to find a variance in terms of means of squares and the square of the mean. Um, and it works. In fact, I was a bit, uh, if you can do all this argumentation in the in the very general setting also. This was the general way of expressing it. This was the discrete way of expressing it. It worked for continuous distributions also. So that was the variance of x and how to compute it.